Hello and welcome to Triple Sleeve TCG. My name is Joshua Patton. I am the captain of the Brogues Guild. Uh, the Brogues Guild is a North American competitive force of will team, and I am here to do a couple box openings with you. I have the new mini set called Rebirth of Legend, and I've got the third set in the cluster assault into the demonic world so if this is your first time knowing a little bit about force of will um mini sets are very uh familiar for us we've been getting mini sets all the way from the very beginning we started with something called a vingolf we had vingolf one two and three one was good two sucked three went off the shelf sold like crazy talk to anybody in the force of will world and they will tell you that vingolf 3 was nuts then i'm pretty sure we took a break and or nope we went right from vingolf 3 into a starter deck they released like a little starter deck right in the middle that uh was a brand new ruler unsupported by anything just kind of a standalone product and uh then they took a break and then when the new company took over they did a mini set call with the ghost in the shell uh release from netflix and so this is the new company's second mini set and this is the first time we've ever had like a mini booster box okay so the set is just 25 cards um the rarity is i mean it is what it is but like we'll, we'll, we'll dive into this and we'll see i don't think you can have like a real rarity in a mini set because you're almost guaranteed everything because the sets are so small um but there are rarities all the way through this um but we'll kind of find out exactly what the distribution is gonna be like uh you can go ahead and follow the rogue shield on facebook um or you can subscribe to our twitch channel uh twitch.tv slash rogue shield um finance and box distributions these are right up my alley and so i have a case of both of these once i get all these opened up i will distribute uh my data on what the box distributions are how many you need for play sets rarities and stuff along those lines and i'll kind of get into that as we go but 25 five cards first time ever seeing a box this small this is a 10 card oh my goodness i forgot awesome so the box topper that they are doing for this mini set is some of the rulers that we had from the first cluster okay so the very first cluster we had uh rulers and that cluster sold very very well and so they decided to reprint them and this is actually brand new uh all full art on the ruler and uh i'm, I'm gonna actually i'm gonna cut this open here real quick because i forgot this was in here oh my goodness and so it's full art the original one was not full art on the ruler side it was full art on the j ruler side so if you're unfamiliar this is called a ruler j ruler this is one of the big things that we uh or this is one of the main tools that we use in the game of force of will uh so this is the ruler side and wow god it's it's like matted it's not foiled okay but this is oh it's it's gorgeous it is absolutely gorgeous very unique piece i don't think it's no it's not foiled it's just a really shiny card but uh wow full art on the front and then full art on the back with no foiling uh that's a that's a beautiful reprint so each of these mini minis come with a ruler from the first cluster and uh they've done a really good job of supporting that cluster for the entire uh uh for the last two sets um and so yeah, i'm glad that they got those going so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh ten booster packs they feel thin is it are they actually ten card packs i don't even think they're ten card packs i think they're five card packs five card pack yeah so oh my goodness that's that's interesting this is all unique for me i've been playing forcible for many many years this is a first so it's a five card booster pack 
Ugh, man, I think I might have to come after these. I usually rely on like the thick, the thick uh, cards, right? A 10 card pack to kind of deal with the um, pulling that first tab. That tab's always been sticky for Force of Will players. Like it does not pack open easy. So let's see, what are we looking at here? Alvarez. The Demonic Castle. Rishia. Abel. Magna. So that's a mythic rare right out the gate. So rare, rare, rare. Mythic rare. And like I said, the rarities are just kind of... I don't know. I think they don't matter, but we'll find out here in, in a little bit. And then we have an ab... Oh! Is that what I think it is? Oh my goodness. It's textured. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Yes. Oh, and it's perfect. Abdul textured. Okay, so this is actually going to skyrocket the value of this set. Um, the fact that we are textured now, for those that um, are unfamiliar, Force of Will went went through textured uh full arts for a really long time and i'd say it's been two years since we've had a textured full art um we've had a couple in promos but uh the last set that gave us textured full arts was uh um decisive battle of valhalla and that was uh that's past rotation and so having textured foils this is going to be sick a 25 card set that is exactly what you needed so that way you uh, really keep the value of this set because I think to f to pool the play sets that you need in full arts will make sure that this product sells very very well. So we'll see. We've got uh, so we've got a full art rare and we've got a mythic rare and we got some rares here. Go ahead and keep those. So I think what I'm gonna do from now on is I'm gonna cut uh, because I am not a fan of how small not a fan of how small that uh uh pack is and trying to rip that hard tab open so they printed uh they printed some cards in here specifically um for the s1 rulers oh there's melfi melfi's in the rare slot so uh melfi is going to be probably the most expensive card in this set which is really interesting because she is bananas we love her cane all right and then a super rare shakti beautiful beautiful shakti and then a full art valentina that's a full art super rare wow they did such a fantastic job on this foiling let's see where can you see the textures can't see it but it's like it's in her dress uh, and they put so much layer in the background too oh they did such a good job such a good job force of will company well done well done i am excited good mini set i'm glad i stocked up on this too because like i'm already starting to see this is day one this is friday uh so it just released today and i believe the prices are already Pretty nuts. We got a flute. We got an Abdul. We got Celestis Treasure. Grim and Pandora. So three rares and a super rare seem to be like the normal pack. So the Grim and Pandora. And hello. So this is a mythic rare. Mariabella. Um, she is for sure a staple, um, and mainly not for the Mariabella part, but for the heart to heart. Heart to heart is going to be an essential in quite a few different decks, uh, specifically Olivia. Olivia is absolutely, no, I'm sorry, not Olivia, uh, Violet. Violet needs her. So we will see kind of how that shapes up in the meta, but my goodness, that is beautiful. So one of the things that was interesting about these dual cards is when you pulled them in the full art, like the full art foil, 
and the full art like nothing changes really it's still full art and it was just a foiling but now we got like this awesome layered texture to it oh goodness it did s oh so good so good super rare i am excited so we'll see what our uh we'll see what our distribution kind of looks like here at the end of this so far so good so Kane, so it looks like we'll hit these rares pretty easy. Kane and Abel got a pretty cool ability for these two. El, El, El Dorado Pearl Shine. Oh my goodness. So, you know, you know me. Love them pandas. So I'm trying to fit that into a deck. Lars. So another super rare. So three rares and a super rare. And then the, wow. Look at that. Oh, you can for sure see the texturing on that one gorgeous gorgeous so nice so this is ragnarok stone ragnarok's fiery stone um and this is something that they did to uh try to get ragnarok into five colors um easily uh so that was something that uh it struggled with and so we'll see if this kind of helps put ragnarok back on the map so what was that super rare super rare oops there's a super rare in there ours Mm, so excited so excited but yeah like i said like don't even don't even freak out over like the rare super rare mythic i don't think it i don't think it will really do too much for you i'd kind of just view them all the same all the value in force of will is in the full arts anyway so and it's got to be playable or have giant breasts because that's another thing with force of will oh prisha okay this prisha card in the big show Precious Big Show, this is going to be very meta relevant. This card is sick. And so that was another mythic rare. Sorry, majestic rare. Oh, El Dorado Pearl Shine. Oh, so nice. Let's see, where did they... Wow, they sprinkled texture all over this guy. Oh, I love it. I love it. What is that, rare? rare so another mythic there three here so two mythics so far out of five packs not too bad oh three including the uh mary bella so that's good yes good all right got the treasure we've got flute we've got oh that's the first kirix training ground that we've seen Kirk's Training Grounds, uh, a real nice card. Uh, we'll see if it becomes meta relevant. I don't think so, though. We have some pretty good red one cost additions, and I don't think this replaces them. Uh, Ragnarok's Fiery Stone, and Hello Lumia. Now, this card is going to carry some weight. Uh, two reasons that's good removal, that's a good inner effect, and she herself is a fan favorite everybody loves lumia she is an angel and the forcible community absolutely adores her so this will carry value very gorgeous so well so well done and that was another wow another majestic so yep super rare and rares so yeah doing all right i don't think it'll take uh it for sure will not take more than a couple boxes to uh take care of uh, having playing being able to play everything that you need so kane El Dorado, abdul lunia oh lunia she was uh she's a really good card for celeste uh celesta and we'll see we'll see if celesta can make a comeback she was really powerful before the second cluster released um and we got all the uh tag rulers all the tag rulers just kind of put her on the back burner because but she generates so much value outside of just the normal hand and then there's our boy lars gorgeous oh i'm so happy that we're in textured foils yes very nice lars is a super rare lunia super all right 
Moving right along, got three left. All right, salt or Helibrez, the demonic castle, Abel, Kyrix training ground. Awesome, another Mary Bella, two in one box. We'll take it. And just lost my screen for some reason. Sorry about that. And a Ferishia. Gorgeous. So Ferishia uh, has always been a powerful card for us. And so this specific variant is very interesting. I think while the other Ferishia is in rotation, I don't imagine that this one will see play. But this zero cost ability, A, that's a quick cast, and the zero cost of target resonator you control gains barrier until end of turn. Um, that's, that th this might, this might find its way into some decks um the discard effect costing will is kind of what makes this card completely different than the other freesia the other freesia being able to pitch without costing will um and negging stuff is kind of why it's uh been a staple for us for a long time but we'll see we'll see if this one makes her way into anything rare ah oh, another majestics we're at five majestics that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Ferishia. Adora. Melfi. I wonder if I could just get a play set of this. Hey, first Rezard. So Rezard is another card that I am going to try to break. I'm going to try to break this card. Uh, it's a pet project of mine, and we'll see if it works. Um, don't know if it will or won't, but we're going to try. Great card. Um, try to get some revive mechanics, some infinite loops going with this. So, wish me luck. And then, ooh, the first Freyla that we've pulled, and we've pulled the full art. Oh my goodness, she is on top of it. Freyla, Dark Huntress, Swiftness Bane, tap, target, J slash Resonator gains minus six, minus six until end of turn, or revenge, tap, destroy, target, J slash Res good card hey we haven't seen a dracula yet interesting i think dracula is in the majestic slot so that will be interesting i will say that if i go through if i go through this first box and i don't have at least one card of everything then we will maybe have a real distribution here so uh Kyrick's training ground yggdrasil that is the first yggdrasil so yeah, I think you are going to need four boxes of stuff. Because yeah, I didn't even pull a Dracula. I'm already looking. Yeah, Yggdrasil is probably going to find a spot in a lot of decks too. It's a good one drop green card. Uh, it does everything that I think you want to do. It's just whether or not we are taking the time to play this. I think is really the only question. Um, super rare. And then our girl flute. We've pulled her a couple times. But now now we have the full art so uh very very interesting so what are we looking at here four full art rares uh three full art no four full art supers okay so equal pull rates on rares and supers that's interesting and then two of the majestics and then in the base rares, we're three Majestics and then seven Supers. So, uh, like I said, I'll do all the math on this. Um, I'll do all, all the math on this once I get all my cases opened up. I'll get a feel. Uh, I always try to do some kind of rarity ratio. So that way I know. Force of Will has uh, been very notorious. So like I said, all the money is in the, uh, all the money is in the full arts. But sometimes they they don't mess up the distribution of the full arts. But if you're not paying attention, um, sometimes what you'll end up finding out is the lower rarities are actually more rare than the full art to make a play set of, right? And so this is something I've taken advantage of in the market for a really long time where I make sure that I am set up with the knowledge so that I don't undersell my full art uh, low rarities. And so I'll make sure 
Then I'm doing the same for this set. Before anything goes on the market, I'll make sure I got all my ratios figured out. So that way I know what's going on. So very excited there. So mini set textures are back. I wonder if textures will just be back, back, period. That would be swell. Oh, I would cry right now in happiness. But moving on to the actual set. So uh, in Force of Will, we get four sets a year. Uh, these sets, uh, we call them, uh, uh, we get four sets and the four sets are part of a cluster. Um, and then, or a block is kind of what the equivalent is. And the cluster goes for the entire year. Uh, the last two clusters, uh, the one that we're currently doing and the one from previous year is what makes up New Frontiers. New Frontiers is the equivalent of Magic the Gathering's standard. Um, and so, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a fantastic journey. Oftentimes, set three is very, very powerful very very powerful set two is usually the most powerful which in this case it, it might have been so in every box we get a buy a box promo and the buy a box promo for this set is pulsing thunder that is the buy a box these promos are unique art it is not the same art from the set and Wow, that is like all art. You can't even barely read. I'm almost fine with that. I've gotten very, very, I, I, I enjoy how small that text is. And it's off to the right and down. Like it's very out of the way. I love that. This looks very good. Very good. Perfect. Put that over here with our Mikake. All right, so should be plenty should be plenty of beef in these booster packs that I'm going to not need the scissors anymore. I'm going to be throwing a bunch of stuff on the ground. I will pick it up later. And let's start cracking packs. Beautiful booster pack. Uh, they oftentimes change the color of these all the time. I think this is the first purple I've ever seen. Pretty sure. I like it. Looks good. Feels good in the hands. Oh, yeah. Rips right, feels right, feels like a normal set. Throwing on the ground. All right. Hero of Compassion. Manifestation of the Sacred Spirit. Magic Stone of Tide. So this is interesting. The special magic stones for all the rulers of this set are actually in the normal slot. So this will be something to pay attention to because the stones, when you put them in the higher rarities, they get crazy expensive because they are very needed for all the rulers that you play. So this is the first time they're ever putting these in the normal slot. We'll see how that goes. Permafrost. Eternal Wind. This is one of our atoms. This goes with Violet. Firestorm. So we are pulling normals right now. Normal is the common equivalent in Force of Will. So Firestorm and then uh, a basic stone slot. So put normals here, basic stone. Ah, a fish token. That's a very nice token. I've appreciated the tokens that they've always come up with. So that's very good. Fish token also has value. Uh, Brave Force. This is in the rare slot. And then the very last card is a full art magic stone of knowledge beautiful so this is probably the most sought after magic stone of this set so pulling this as my full art in pack one is fantastic uh we will have to see this is what i meant about making sure that i understand my distributions because i think that might be one of the most expensive cards in the set and to an untrained person uh you might might just let that go thinking it's a normal right just a uh just a foil common in, like in all the other games but not in our game in our game sometimes the distributions tell you that's the rarest next pack limbs of the avenger this is kind of like some exodia thing they're trying to do here uh was that the mysteries of Gublasta? hero of might heroes are kind of a big mech the witches 
the witch of the unblowing wind the witches are a big thing for this set a lot of good witches came out excalibur reincarnation void another atom and then we've got our stone and these are life point tokens uh, just take some art from the set, throw some life points down here, 1,000, 500, and 100, and you can kind of use that as a deck or a counter sometimes if you don't have die. I've never done it, but um, it seems to be a new thing. Oh! Man, that's so cool. All right. My computer needs to stop shutting off. So I got a full art and a... Oh, did I lose my camera? No! I'm out why does my thing keep cutting out <laughs> webcam oh, on got it all right let's see if i can get this stay awake hmm. let's make it not go to sleep no sleep which is interesting because i feel like or displays it i feel like i've never had this issue before but it's usually because i'm playing on the computer i'm very rarely just doing stuff in front of the camera without actually clicking on my computer so maybe i'll just click it after hmm Yeah, maybe I'll just click the screen after every uh, after every booster pack. Give it a click. We'll try that. All right. So anyway, as we were saying, we have glowing tree of Valhalla in the rare spot, and we pulled the full art version of the same thing. So it's kind of nice. We get these both right here, so you can see the difference between a full art card and a non full art. So, oh wow. You can kind of tell in the light there that they actually did a really good job of kind of foiling specific to the art a little bit. You can kind of really see the rays popping. Awesome. Perfect. Rare, rare. It'd be interesting to see if they kept the uh, two rulers per box distribution or if they went with back to one ruler. So this is the magic stone of Adam. This is Violet special magic stone limbs. Mysteries. Wow, we're seeing some of the same. Atomic reactor. Surging lightning. And then a light magic stone. A Olivia will coin. And then we have our witch. Witch of the Fallen Kingdom. This is a quick cast. Your opponent cannot search their deck. We like that. Seal 5. Enter. You may reveal a witch you own from outside the game and put it into the field. So this will be interesting. I think this will see a lot of play, uh, especially with Big Show being a major deck right now. Big Show, uh, once you get enough counters, Prisha comes in, search your deck for a card, put it into the field. So... Uh, we will for sure see play with Black Witch. And then we have Oil Pond. Full art. Look at that demon. The demon is just chilling. Chilling in that molten lava. Relaxing. Man. Force of Will art. So good. So good. Ah! I'll make sure my focus is right. Yeah. Sometimes the cards look blurry on my screen. I think the video will come out good. Alright. So, Temple of the Dead. Uh, this is getting into the demonic worlds. Uh, this is what Wolfgang will try to take advantage of. Fish of the demonic world. Actually, more with Olivia, now with the demonic worlds. <laughs> Magic Stone of Guidance. The Witch of Quenched Fire. Very interesting. All these witches kind of poo poo on their own uh color mechanic here which is interesting so like this witch is a quick cast prevent all damage that would be dealt by fire chance and abilities your opponent's control so it's like <laughs> it's like oh i'm a red deck oh you're a red deck too no nah, screw you red deck <laughs> starving beast 
the mysteries of Almerius. We have some tokens. And then this is Bloodlord. So Bloodlord is one of the two demons, uh, two cost blacks. Um, seem to be uh, focused around the demonic worlds. Enter. You may rest X, recover demonic world additions you control. If you do, draw X cards, lose X life, and put a plus one, plus one counter on this card. So, good hand generation. We're always looking to draw cards. But, oh, speak of the devil, there's the other one. So, this is Dark Lord. So, we have Blood Lord and Dark Lord. So, Dark Lord is Flying Bane. Uh, has the same thing with uh, entering and resting X recovered um demonic worlds but this is if you do destroy all resonators with total cost x your opponent control and put plus one plus one counter on this card for each resonator destroyed this way so um this guy honestly when i look at him i'm just like come on that is nuts this 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 boy's all neck all neck he just goes right from his shoulders to neck and like there's a, it's the same size boy's huge huge all right so rare oops rare rare all right i'm digging the playability of these cards witch of the unblowing winds hero of darkness hero of sacred spirit oil demon it's the oil pond dude just chilling in the oil schrodinger's call eternal wind and then we got some tokens we've got charlotte's light transformation magic so this is interesting this is kind of like a so charlotte's water transformation magic has been a staple in uh force of will for a really long time it's a staple in the eternal formats so uh, you hear terms like bow the bear stuff along those lines so having something like this back but in a different color with different stats but the same functionality at one cost quick cast that uh makes something become something else um very interesting having that back so excited for that and then we have excalibur revolution it's a super rare choose one destroy x target non-magic stone entities your opponents control put a guidance counter on x target entities your opponents control or you control draw x cards so this is uh very good for the the excalibur deck uh faria and what she's trying to do with the guidance counters um but then also just a good board wipe if you need to so multifunctional cards always go very well in this game so we will see if that makes a spot in the faria deck i don't know if it will though i think it might be too highly costed double white with the x is is i think that deck is winning by then Ah, oh, Sparklefish. So Sparklefish is going to be a good staple. Um, it's a uh, cancel spell at uh, two cost, blue white. Very familiar to the Millennia Bond. Uh, so we'll see. Um, for sure, Olivia has to play it because of the random. So choose one at random. Recover all magic stones you control. Cancel target non resonator spell or cancel target resonator spell. Um, you need Olivia to be able to, or at least the. Uh, Olivia's Dolphin to be able to get off of the random aspect of that. So White Garden, Temple of the Dead, Fish of the Demonic World, another Magic Stone of Knowledge. Don't have to worry about play sets of that. So Resistance or Residence of the Demonic World. She is a staple in the Wolfgang deck for sure. And we got more of that, and then Absorb Knowledge. This is a suicide card. <laughs> Quick cast. Destroy target. J ruler you control. Draw two cards. Uh, only works in Brad. And I guess maybe other imperishable stuff. Maybe. We'll find out where this ends up. But not not one of the best cards in the set. And then fish dance. Beautiful. Beautiful art. Not too much to say about fish dance. I don't know how relevant it will be. So it's it's a cool concept. It's a uh, gives you either six one ones, uh, two three threes, or one six six. I think, if I remember right. So, hero of darkness, hero of sacred spirit, oil demon, Aegis. 
eyes of the Avenger, part of the Exodia. <laughs> Starving beast. I mean, that's the thing with the Exodia is it's not even, uh, like, you have to swing with it. It doesn't just land and you win. Atomic Turbulence. Now, this is a fantastic card for Olivia. So it says, as an additional cost to play this card, discard X atoms with different names. This card deals 500 damage to target player or J slash resonator. If X was one or more, it deals 1,000 instead. If it's two or more, it deals 1,000 damage to each J slash res and the player. Uh, or this card deals, uh, or sorry, if X is three or more, your opponent cannot play spells until the end of turn. So this kind of effect, that Dance of Spirits effect, is something very critical that we need in the game right now. There's a lot of interaction. So being able to lock out your opponent, uh, on, basically on your upkeep or on, um, before your main phase is very essential or forcing them to interact with this so that they can interact with your atomic bahamut uh hopefully we'll pull one of those and we can talk about that but very much a staple in the violet deck and very much deserving of the super rare slot then we've got hero of might never go wrong with the full arts in this game never even the normals it's all art it's beautiful it's beautiful We have number four, Anti-Magic. I think this is... You may play this card without paying its cost if it targets a spell that was played from the graveyard. Remove target spell from the game. Um, anytime you get a chance for a free aspect or a free spell, um, it's usually at least a sideboard tech depending on the meta. So we do have cards like Sigurd and stuff that people are trying to play from the grave. So you never know. This, this might find its way into some stuff. Atomic Fairy... The Mysteries of Mujdart Call from the Depth Hero of Courage Firestorm So that one, sometimes that happens in Force of Will You just kind of open a pack and you're like Wow, I actually haven't seen any of those commons Sometimes they get a little uh, bunched up So, oh, that's Wolfgang uh, This will be the Will Coin For him So, Shining Heart Scorching Hero uh, I think this is one of the cards that gives Faria legs. So this card says, Heroes you control gain. If this card would deal damage, it deals double that much damage instead, as long as there are three or more Guidance Counters on this card. Whenever one or more Guidance Counters are put on this card, Guidance 1, this card deals 800 damage to each J slash Resonator, which is very good. We like that 800 number. It does, it kills a lot. 800 is a, a very a uh, staple decent body in this game and so that will kill a lot and guidance 2 is j slash resonator shoot control game plus 2 plus 2 and swiftness until end of turn so very good uh on a judgment dropping a couple counters on this guy that can really kind of seal the game with a judgment so rare slot there and then we have a full art super rare dark prominence so this is one of the atoms. All the atoms will have this look. And this is the red black one. Quick cast. Destroy target J slash resonator. Your opponent controls. And then it has the violet effect of you can just, if this was pitched by an ability of a violet, do the same thing. And that's kind of what makes these atoms with the uh, Mariabella card that we pulled kind of broken. So uh, very good, super rare to have. And I got a feeling... I got a feeling anybody running the Violet decks will want these in full art. It's just kind of, I don't know, I, I, I think I think that'll be a thing. Those might carry some value quite a bit. So we have Guidance. What is this? Swamp of Sorrows. Heart of the Avenger. Again, brand new, <laughs> brand new commons. Improved Healing Robot. I am running a one of that in my Olivia deck. Oil Pond. Eternal Wind. Red. Fish Token. Another Brave Force. And our Suicide Watch Candidate of the Year, Mr. Brad. The Immortal Sage. So this is a ruler. And a J ruler. These are uh, probably the most valuable cards 
in the game you need one to play and these are kind of what gear all the decks um so pulling this in a booster pack if you're just buying packs off a shelf feels really good so brad here is a very cheap judgment judgments for only one green um and you may do judgment of this card while it's rested which is interesting uh that's a normal you're not allowed to do that so you may do judgment of this card more than once per turn also not allowed to do that um so brad's really breaking all the rules here and uh you may treat knowledge counters on this card as magic stones for seal so seal is an ability that says basically count your magic stones and if you have more than the seal number then you get that seal ability right so that's brad's thing brad says every time i die i get knowledge counters and i want to die often so he has imperishable and barrier which is interesting so he can't really die from your opponent but because uh, the imperishable aspect means he can go back to being a ruler and you can still judgment him that's what imperishable means uh he has enter put a knowledge counter on this card that's his only function you may treat knowledge counters on this card as though they were you know spells so his whole function is to come out and die often he just wants to die 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 and get so much knowledge from death then you just let your rest of the deck do the work so this guy this guy's a bit of a meme right now our community absolutely is running with the concept of brad and just having a fantastic time with him and it is awesome it is awesome to see so we'll see if uh if brad can uh find a way into the meta um i don't think he will mainly because the uh welser from the first set of the cluster is doing better the welser from the first uh the welser from the first set is just doing better with all of his cards than he is So, not, I'm glad I got him, glad I could talk about him, but not the most excited for, I am for the ruler, so hopefully I get another one in this box. Hopefully, he'd be nice. Sorry about my camera, guys. I didn't realize that this was going to be doing this. I'll have to dig into the computer a little bit. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm 30, I'm married, got two kids. And, you know, the rest of my team kind of makes fun of me for my lack of uh, computer knowledge and all that shenanigans because I could not quickly figure out why my computer just sleeps like this and I couldn't fix it right now if I wanted to. So, <laughs> Manifestation, the Magic Stone of Ty, Schrodinger's Call, Atomic Reactor, cool. All familiar commons. Stone, bread. And we got Fish Dance. Oh, Fish Dance was a rare? Oh, crap, I gotta go fix that. <laughs> My bad. And we have Fallen Angel of Hatred. So this is uh, this is going to be, a, uh, I think, a pretty good Fallen Angel. Flying, rest of recovered demonic world you control, target J slash resident air, gain swiftness until end of turn. Anytime you can give your deck that kind of burst potential is really good. Um, so rest two recovered demonic worlds you control. This card deals 500 damage to target player or J slash resonator. So uh, also just uh, burn on a stick sometimes if he sticks, right? So great card to have. Um, I think it will for sure find its way in the uh, in the Wolfgang demonic world decks. Uh, see, here, here's what I mean, right? We're already three full art normals in, but we are four full art rares in <gasps> two full art supers no mythics yet but we'll see I keep bouncing back between mythic and majestic and positive it's majestic marvel it's marvel maybe mythic majestic or marvel it's one of those it's 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 the highest rarity <laughs> all right i play too many card games sorry guys everfrost the first layer of the demonic world hero of compassion manifestation of the sacred spirit residence of the demonic world sucks to be them oh that's not a basic magic stone that is our magic stone of knowledge we're gonna put that over there now we're getting into the basics we have lightning passion 
the rare quick cash choose one at random this is a uh, olivia's thing all of her cards are choose at random but olivia allows you not to like for a couple times a turn so that makes these cards very powerful but for her specifically so this card deals a thousand damage to your opponent that's a big burn spell we don't have burn spells really that big draw a card put this card into your opponent's hand as it resolves put up to two target non-magic stone non-j ruler entities you control on top of their owner's deck in a random order so double bounce or draw and replace or deal a thousand very very good good abilities and being able to do any of the three at your choice is the right the right amount of powerful so sparkle fish this is our cancel fish uh getting this in a full art again we'll see how powerful olivia is uh, but I expect this to be one of the more expensive cards in the set. So, full art, normal, again, super value, right? I think the, the two full arts I've been most excited about are Sparklefish and the Magic Stone of Knowledge. Um, so, and they're both in a normal slot. I haven't pulled anything else, and I'm like, oh, yeah, this will make me loads of money. All right. White Garden, Temple, Fish, Stone, Atomic, Eternal. Then we have stone fish. Then we have dark prominence. So dark prominence, quick cast. Uh, yeah, no, this is the same full art that we did. So this is uh, the super rare Adam. And then have my boy, the improved healing robot. This one's uh, this one's pretty good, honestly. Enter, put any number of cards from your removed area into your graveyard. You gain 400 life for each card put in the graveyard this way. Um, removed area has always been a mechanic uh, that we've played with in Force of Will for a really long time. So this is going to see value outside of just uh, New Frontiers. I think this will go into other decks as well, um, just because we play in our removed areas so often. So I'm I'm enjoying enjoying that one in the normal slot. All right, this time I remembered, so... Let me do a little click on my computer so it doesn't shut off on me. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Permafrost. Sparkle fish. White garden. Temple. Mysteries of Almerius. Surging lightning. Stone token. So Excalibur Revolution and Hero of Courage. Beautiful full arts. Try to speed this up a little bit. Try to get to some marvels. We've seen a lot of these. Fish of the Demonic World. Magic Stone of Guidance. Witch of Quenched Fire. Adam. Oh, Fallen Angel of the Paradise. That's a new common. I don't think we've seen that one yet. And then Hero of Water. I don't think we've seen that one yet either. Stone Stone. Guardian dragon of the kingdom so a rare slot dragon here but uh specifically this card flying this card gets plus two plus two for each magic stone you control so it's not a three three it'll get bigger than a three three very easily and it's a two cost one green one colorless which is really good because it doesn't color lock you and on enter put the top card of your magic stone deck into the field rested i believe this is one of the cheapest ramps that we've ever had in the game. I'm pretty sure the only other one that did it was Gretel. And I'm pretty sure Gretel was a two cost as well. And Gretel, Gretel was like early, early Force of Will. And was a staple the whole time Gretel was in existence. So having a Gretel back, we will see. We will see where this goes. Um, but very excited to see what that does. And we have the number 13 Anti-Magic this is uh going to be one of the more expensive full arts in the game uh the number 13 anti-magic is quick cast cancel target spell uh at a blue or sorry at a white and a green this is um this is very standard for us in force of will we have a card named seal of wind and light it was uh an og cancel spell for green and a white this is a very fair costed cancel spell and uh, we haven't had one like this for a while just a very generic hits all cancel spell no tricks but at seal four you can pay white less so getting to seal four is pretty easy then this becomes a one cost cancel spell and that's 
pretty dang good and then at seal seven you may pay green less so then at seal seven this is now a free cancel spell um that's very good that is very 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 good especially in the control mirrors um i'm looking at a welser to abuse something like this i'm looking at basically all control decks to play this card at least and uh it's something that will be very meta relevant so super rare full art we'll see like i said when i pull all the distributions we'll see how rare that really is and we will adjust prices accordingly but that is going to be a very sought after full art card happy happy so permafrost sparkle fish wink garden oh bogus meditation that's the first and then hero of wind i think that's the first as well man there he is the oh i didn't realize it was a uh a mythic majestic marvel rare uh it was mm, rare so atomic bahamut is a wall of text uh if you're coming from a game that enjoys wall of text this is the card for you uh basically it's just a big body that gets cheap and on inner nukes the board gives itself swiftness and can swing for lethal it goes with the atoms uh i think uh when you're running the deck your majority atoms this and the spell and that's your win con is just this card it's absolutely powerful and beautiful and wonderful and <laughs> it's so gorgeous i hope i get a i hope i find a full art of this because i got a feeling that'll be that'll be worth something so first mm, rare and then we have a surging lightning beautiful beautiful and that's what i mean enforce will uh just about all the full art sell somebody's gonna want it eventually right so having that in your uh card game is just really builds confidence in the player base and the sellers to be able to make sure that uh they can uh recoup their funds on products that they buy so the Thunder Empress's Strike, a super rare. This is Olivia's super rare. A uh, very good one. This is a very good one. Again, wall of text though. Uh, quick cash, choose one at random. Uh, I think the best ability on this one is to search your deck for a, a water chant. The total cost two or less and remove it from the game and you can play it at any time. Or uh, two cost or less water resonator from the game, play it at any time. There's a lot of good targets. For something like that and to be able to just kind of put it out there and use it whenever um this is going to be a very good card so hooray and then again a full art atom uh everfrost is going to be one of the staples this is a blue draw card um this will be a great way to get to your win con and it does everything you want atoms to do so uh i expect this card to be very valuable as well or wait was it rare a normal or rare normal if it was a rare it might not be as valuable <laughs> we'll find out we will find out at the witch i'm not a witch i'm your wife if you know the reference you're awesome hey cool here you go you can see the difference between a full art and a regular again so there's our there's our fire hero. Wow, three of them in one, uh, three of them in one uh, booster box. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. Fast fire hero, making Faria quick again. Hero of might, the witch hero, hero, Excalibur hero, tokens, lightning passion, and full art firestorm. We are digging what Violet is doing. Uh, Firestorm, I don't think this is going to be one of the cards that we play. This is a uh, quick cast. As you play this card, you may remove any number of atoms in your graveyard from the game. You may pay one less to play this card for each card removed this way. This card deals X damage to target player or resonator where X is 4 multiplied by the number of atoms. Um... So, I mean, theoretically, with 10 atoms, you can, like, burn for lethal. But, honestly, that's a big cost. It's a big cost for... I, I think Atomic Bahamut has the same cost 
and wins. This has the same cost and just doesn't win. So I think that's why it's a it's it's a no for me on that card in my violet decks. I don't believe in it. Not the way. Do you know the way? Guidance art. Oh wow! This is three times in a box. I don't think I've had it happen this much. So the Witch of Melting Ice. So quick cast. Uh, entities you control cannot be rested by water chancer abilities your opponents control. Again, Witch being very uh, color specific on uh, her own color hate. Very interesting approach they took. Mm. Oh, I think that's the first time we're having the Forest of Darkness. So J slash resonators your opponent control, gain minus X minus X, where X is the number of demonic worlds. Very good card. Magical. Ooh, the Mysteries of Mylist. I think that's, yeah, this is Magical Loveliness, Mysteries of Mylist. I think this is the first time we're pulling these, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've seen the Magic Stone. This is uh, Wolfgang's Magic Stone. Firestorm. Magic Stone Knowledge. Cool. Almost got my play set of that. And then Absorbing Knowledge. Go kill yourself. And then Atomic Fusion. That's an additional cost to play this card. Discard X atoms with different names. Draw two cards, then discard a card. If X is more than one, produce this. If X is two or more, produce... Uh, put X... Plus one, or er, X, six, one, fire spirit resonator tokens onto the field. If X is three or more, J slash resonators, you control gain plus two, plus zero, and swiftness until end of turn. Uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's costed too much. Again, I think the resources in this deck need to be very tight because you need atoms in your hand at all times. So the not atoms that you're playing need to have a reason to be there, you know? So don't think that is one of them. Beautiful card, though. Beautiful card. I'm a, I'm a sucker for red. I'm a sucker for the red cards. Healing Robot, Force of Darkness, Mysteries of Milo. See, there we go. We're getting to that part of the box where we get the other half of the commons. Ooh, the Fallen Kingdom. So this is a super rare demonic world, and it is choose a... Choose a number equal to or less than the number of demonic worlds with different names you control. Remove all non-magic stone, non-J ruler entities with total cost equal to the number, equal to that number your opponent controls from the game. So very interesting board wipe there. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I think that would only be like a one or two of in the decks. I think the other demonic worlds are doing better. So and then there's our fallen angel of paradise. Very beautiful. We're getting those normals up. Getting that normal count up. Hitting a lot of them. But that's what I mean. In the normal slot, there's just a lot more variance. There's a lot more cards in the normal slot. So, uh, when it comes to having unique cards, it becomes... So, the Fallen Angel of Hatred and... Ooh, Spark of Life. Spark of Life. Uh, again, quick cast. Destroy target J ruler you control. <laughs> so kill yourself. And target non magic stone entity your opponent controls. So kill yourself and something else for one. I mean, <laughs> you're still you're still killing yourself. So <laughs> I don't know. Oh my goodness, that's a super rare. Uh, beautiful card. Hopefully, uh, Brad does work i don't know uh maybe with some other imperishable rulers if that's kind of a route that you want to go uh zero um from the tag rulers she kind of relied on something to die um so ooh, planes of the raging wind uh recover up to x target magic stones you control that's a good demonic world uh ooh, first time we're seeing number seven anti-magic uh it is a oops sorry red green quick cast you may pay red less to play this card if it targets a J ruler you control. Cancel target chance spell. This card deals a thousand damage to target J slash resonator. Wow. 
so that's really good um uh being specific to the chance spell is interesting having the burn aspect to it is probably good too um it's just red green i don't know how frequently we're in that color but you know we'll see uh brad welser they're all trying to do five colors so yeah we'll see and residence bogus meditation then we have schrodinger the white cat oh right that's a majestic rare so marvel rare whatever quick cast enter choose one put a guidance counter on a ruler you control or put a guidance counter on target entity you control whenever one or more guidance counters are put on a ruler or entity you control you may rest target j slash resonator that's pretty good the uh, very few of the guidance counter cards see all the other guidance counters other than their own being placed um so that'll be pretty good and we've got our full art the mysteries of Blessed. All right. Do a quick count. See where we're at. How many do we have left? Good stack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Thirteen. So we're almost two thirds of the way there. Alright. Hero, oil, I guess guidance, surging hero. Fish. Oh, that's a different fish. Different fish art. Same fish. Spark of life! Which is not spark of life, it's spark of death. Because you kill yourself. The paradise of fallen angels. That's a beautiful one. So search your deck for any number of fallen angels and or demons with a combined total cost of X or less, where X is the number of demonic worlds with different names you control. Very beautiful demonic world. He's beautiful. There is a fallen angel, I think, or a demon. I can't remember. He looks like both. Uh... <laughs> He is the win con kind of of the wolf game deck. Oh, I didn't click. Ah! Aha, I saved it. All right. Sorry, didn't click. Spark of Darkness. Art. Improved. Forest. Mysteries. Starving. All right. Pulsing Thunder. This is our promo. Um, and then uh, seeing this art again, this is kind of something from back in uh, the Golems uh, realm and you know seeing that art style on something they must have reused this art from something so this is a big hero four cost barrier it's a 2k 2k which is just a generally big this is i think the cheapest 2k 2k we've ever had but very vanilla uh barrier red barrier bl black so very vanilla card looks pretty though uh that pulsing thunder is a super rare as it should be. Really good card. Board wipe for two. Very nice. Alright. We've got Adams. Mysteries. Please, Atomic. We've got these. We've got the Mysteries of Zero. Quick cast. Destroy target non magic stone entity with total cost three or less. Put a knowledge counter on the J ruler you control. Seal 10, destroy up to 5 target non-magic stone entities instead. Um, very good. Getting knowledge counters without having to kill your J-Ruler. You know, it's pretty good. Uh, 2 cost to destroy something 3 cost or less. Not a big fan. Like, you can do better for 2 will. Or for 1 will. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to get the knowledge counters. And, hello! Hello, hello, hello. It's her! This is Violet. Violet is my girl. She is the red ruler for the set. She is a judgment for two red. She has one colorless ability. 
It says one colorless, draw a card, then discard a card. Play this ability only once per turn. So basically all of the atoms have the text that if this card was ever discarded by a card named Violet for her ability, then perform the effect of the card. So you're drawing and discarding and performing the effect of the atoms as you're discarding them at instant speed. It's very beautiful. Plus abilities that trigger like that don't have a lot of interactions in the game right now. So almost uninteractable. Then on this side, she is an 8-8 and she has discard a card. This card gains plus two, plus two, swiftness, flying, first strike, precision, drain, and barrier until end of turn. So discard a card, same concept. If you're discarding atoms, you're also getting those atom effects. This girl can get pretty beefy pretty quick and destroy the board very quick. Uh, there's a lot of flexibility with this ruler and i'm very excited to see what she can do and i'm happy that i pulled her mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. awesome perfect perfect thank you violet all right so two rulers in a box that's good so i don't expect the rulers to be obnoxiously expensive then so that's good for the single market um oftentimes that's kind of a barrier of entry i think if they get more than 25 dollars a card then it kind of deters a lot of players from kind of playing and especially if they're meta relevant meta relevant dark lord mr neck himself and then we have the mysteries of zero beautiful full art I think it's kind of a barrier of entry to some of the newer players, especially if they become meta relevant. If they're meta relevant and they have like a $80 price tag on them, then like it's very hard to get people to be like, yeah, no, I love Force of Will. I want to play, you know, when you're getting stomped on by a best deck. And whoa, that's a first time. Winds of the Demonic World. What? Oh, uh, seeing brand new commons again. Getting to the end of it. Brand new commons, Fallen Angel, and Charlotte's Light Transformation Magic uh, in the rare slot, so beautiful. She's making a, making a beast, because she's a beast. She's a beast. She's a brick. Ouch. Oh, again. And we're getting to the bottom half of the box. More random commons we haven't seen. It's amazing you can go through a box like that and hey the second of my number 13 anti-magic i appreciate that thank you box and then the hero of wind thank you box yeah it's always it's always weird when you open up a booster box or something and you're like all right cool i've seen all the comments and you're like 25 packs in and you're just like wait i've never seen you where did you come from? How did you dodge the random variants for that long? So we've got a Mysteries of Zero. And there he is. This is our Exodia thing. This is kind of a joke card-ish. I don't know. We'll find out. If I die to this, we'll find out. Uh, this is called Avenger of Amadurus or Amadurus something. He's a 10 cost, 5 green, 5 colorless uh, avatar. He's got Pierce and Eternal. And when this card is put into the graveyard from anywhere, put it on the bottom of its owner's deck. And it's a 10k, 10k. So if you land a hit with this, everybody's dead. Uh, I've played very few games where I've gotten over 10k life. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you land this, yeah, you got him. So that's what all the pieces were kind of like building up to. So we'll see if there's a way to cheat this out. Anyhow, um, we'll figure out something to do with it. Uh, but right now, that's just a very expensive card. And you have many other win conditions in this game before turn 10. So <laughs> Atomic Fairy, Mysteries, Coltips. Then we have, all right, improve, improved burning robots. Uh, swiftness, enter, put any number of target atom chance with different names from your graveyard into your hand. That's a good one. 
And then whenever this card attacks, you may reveal any number of atoms with different names from your hand. Put two plus one plus one counters on this card for each card revealed this way. So that's every time. So every time you swing, you can really kind of beef this guy up quite a bit. Coming in at a three power though, very easy, very easy to shoot. So again, I don't think that's taken up many spots in my deck. Uh, and then we got a Terra Thunderfish here. So this is a super rare for Olivia. And it is, this card cannot be canceled, which is really good. Fish, J slash Resonators, you control gain swiftness. So that's that burst ability. It seems like every deck in Forza will need some kind of burst ability right now to be able to kind of seal games out. Um, it's, it's just kind of the way the meta is shaped into. Uh, whenever this card attacks, choose one at random. Rest all magic stone and all J slash resonators your opponent controls. Destroy all rested J slash resonators your opponent control. And fish J slash resonators you control gain plus six plus six and flying until end of turn. Uh, so can definitely close out a game pretty easily. It comes in with swiftness itself on attack. If you have one of those free, you can give all your fish, including it, plus six, plus six, and flying. And so uh, you can really get past a, um, a lot of damage that way. So good super rare for Olivia. We'll see how many we run. I think it's a count. It's a count question with that card. Uh, I think it's for sure in the deck, but it's a count. It's a count question. So we're going to just blow through the commons on these last couple here. We've got Scorched Mountain Trail. If your opponent would gain life, they lose that much life instead. All right. This card, <coughs> I think this card is very meta relevant. And we'll kind of see if I can do anything cheeky with this. Uh, because that life gain turning into burn is is something we've never seen in force of will and i want to use it so bad enter destroy target j slash resonator total cost extra less so great static effect and a good inner effect so a great demonic world especially in the rare slot then here is the boy okay so this is our uh big beefy win condition in uh in uh ch -ch 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 wolf game so this is the fallen angel of tremendous term tremendous terminus terminus there we go so he has flying drain bane and barrier barrier white he says rest a recovered demonic world you control this card gains plus four plus four until end of turn rest two recovered demonic worlds you control j slash resonators you control gain plus eight or minus eight minus eight until end of turn yeah your opponent control gain minus eight minus eight so that's a good board wipe for two demonic worlds but then here we go number three rest three recovered demonic worlds you control this card gains whenever this card deals damage to your opponent you win the game till end of turn so that I believe is the win con for wolf king very good fallen nature very beautiful art too i mean i mean beauty i guess is in the eye of the beholder but it's very uh, very nice very well done very well done very creepy very well done <laughs> hey and that was my full art majestic marvel mythic mm, rare All right. Ooh, hello. So this is Leneth. Uh, she is kind of a big beater in the. Uh, she's a big beater in the Excalibur deck. So she has uh, entities you control with a guidance counter on them gain eternal. All right. So that's really good. And when she enters, you search your deck for a hero with total cost two or less and put it into the field and put a guidance counter on it. Then shuffle your deck a uh, very good card very good card for three especially since excalibur uh, his or excalibur's third guidance ability is to put a hero from your hand into the field and that could just be this right it gets pretty out of control pretty quick if this is able to land successfully so for sure deserves that super rare slot and then schrodinger's call beautiful card quick cast search your deck 
for a hero, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Never playing that card. Very beautiful, though. Very beautiful. All right. Three packs left. We've got two. And we got two mm, rares. One full art mm, rare. Uh, if it stays at that, and if I don't get any more, this is that's going to be a very rare slot. Because um, we've never had uh, less than, I'd say, four at least. Oh, here we go. <laughs> there we go. Here's, here's the fourth. Witch with a pointy hat. So this is a very good card and very familiar to something that we used to have in this game. So it's a quick cast 4-4 resonator. And it says, enter, prevent all damage that would be dealt by target entity until end of turn. That's meh. But then it's got seal 4. Cancel, target, activate, or automatic ability your opponent controls. So this is uh, a Lorite. Um, Lorite was a very meta-relevant, uh, uh, meta-defining card that we had to play with for uh, over a year uh, when it was released. And it is still one of the most powerful cards they've ever printed to this day. Uh, I believe this is a fair Lorite. Putting it on a seal 4 to basically wait till you have 4 magic stones before you get a Lorite really kind of turns a broken concept into a very good tool for a control deck. You know, if a control deck, like that, that's fair, right? If a control deck can get to turn four without dying, then it kind of gets a couple more tools to it to get further into the late game. So very happy, very happy with what they did there. And there is that first, the first layer of the demonic world in full art. Very beautiful. I think that was a normal. Yep. Ah, two more. Oh, hello. Necronomicon Barrier. Quick cast, choose one. Resonators entering the field under your opponent's control don't cause their own abilities to trigger until end of turn. Or you may search your deck for a demonic world edition, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shovel your deck. That's a good spell. In a super rare, that's interesting, though. I don't think that's enough for a super rare. But I like the quick cast black having an Abdul ability. I think that's really good. Uh, so, Residence of the Demonic World, just a really dark card. Sometimes I think the art gets kind of tucked into these real dark cards. But. She's licking a knife, just in case you were wondering. She's crazy. Ooh. Can't say that out loud. She'll probably kill me. All right, last pack. Oh, I didn't click it for last pack. Yeah, we saved it. All right. And that's exactly how that would go, like right at last pack. I'm just like, no, I screwed up. All right. Let's go for one more mm, rare. Got... Common, it's got some stones, got neck. Oh my goodness, so much neck. All oh, neck. And then Bloodlord. That's crazy, because the last pack that we had was the or the first pack we got these two was Bloodlord in basic and Dark Lord in full art. So now we got the other way around. Oh, this guy's all neck. Alright. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is Assault on the Demonic World, Force of Will's third set in the Magic Stone War cluster that we're in right now. So make sure if you're interested in playing some Force of Will that you get you hit up Justin and you get your sealed product from Triple Sleeve TCG. They've done a fantastic job of diving right into this game and being very competitive with their prices. So I look forward to working more with them in the future. They have delivered very sex successfully on the last two sets that I've purchased. I've purchased a case both times and have not been disappointed. Um, so make sure you continue to support them. And if you have any questions about the game of Force of Will, please reach out to me or any of my teammates. Uh, we love talking about the game of Force of Will and we would love to talk about it with you at any time. 
so make sure you uh go try to find us on facebook uh rogues guild um and then on twitch we do live streams uh i stream my uh matches for ols um always kind of goofing around uh on there and if you subscribe to our channel you will get access to our private discord where you can talk and live competitive force of will for as long as you want all right but this is joshua Patton, and thank you very much for joining me this evening have a good one guys gg